So if you have played Halo on PC in most recent times, you uh, may know about MCC. But if you want to play, but if you want to play Halo in the most original capacity, then there is then there is actually a version of Halo for MPC that was released back in 2004. There, there are two versions. One is Halo Combat Evolved, which is the full the full release of the game. But Halo Custom Edition is a version of Halo that is more open and allowed a com community made maps and mods to to and be made like a cursed halo which is the best type of mod for halo it just makes halo look so stu uh, it uh, makes halo a bit more interesting like this <laughs> but anyway it's on 2024 and you might be wondering could i run this game in 2024 well you can and i'll show you how so the first method is to go to halomaps.org they have um, recently updated the website to look a bit more modern but anyways uh, we um, go to halo custom edition and then we go to official files halo custom edition files and here are a few files one is the in in is the installer which is which will install the game and here we are we have the um dm setup file we go and launch this and we will hear the um halo chant i think no we don't <laughs> anyway we um, click install and you will need to find a product key I won't tell you how to find this, because obviously I can't do that on YouTube. But uh, if you do find it, then you put it in here. After that, you will um, come to this, where you can now ins install Halo. But now, if you try to launch it just after doing the install, nothing will happen. Because now, you have to go back here. And download the latest patch from here. Wherever that is. <laughs> 404 page not found. <laughs> okay. Um, here is the custom edition patch 1.0.10. Want to download this? Here it is. You want to extract this with with an archive tool like 7zip, and then. It'll create a folder here. Inside of here will be a patch. Want to execute that? So for um, people on um, YouTube to see it, I'm gonna have to make it Windows, apply, and OK. I'm not sure why it's uh, it needs an a f it needs authentication to run. To um, get a normal window to appear, you want to uncheck this, apply, and OK. And it won't need the administrator prompt. So it might look a bit weird because there's no campaign. It's just multiplayer, profile, settings, uh, credits, and quit. So yeah, this is what custom edition is. It's like just, it's a version of Halo where um, people can make custom maps and stuff. So if we go into a multiplayer match, LAN, and then there's a random game. By default, you, um, Slayer. you are um, using a key, um, keyboard and mouse, which is not so bad. But, uh... But some of you might want to play with a controller. And so to do that, you um you um quit the game first and then 
and then when you launch it again make sure that you have a controller a connected to the system i am already have it configured we are, we am going to profiles and we delete this <laughs> oh what's that do halo will actually be this size which is quite small but you can also make it full screen i'm gonna see what happens when i I'm gonna see what happens when I do that when I'm using OBS. <laughs> and now it looks like this. So so if you have a if you have a controller it will appear here and you will click on it. Click OK. And then you want to go to control setup. And over here all of the bindings are blank. So we want to apply them. Hi, and now you can um, freely use the um, DM interface with your controller. Slayer. Ser server message of the day. <laughs> anyway, so now we're in Halo. Intro uh, grenades. I uh, I am playing with a controller here. If you want the um, to add the campaign, so there are a few uh, custom-made ver versions of campaign maps, but but um, but but there is an archive of the ar of the original uh, ones is um, on this forum post, and here is the um, download to the original uh, files. To import this into Halo, you want to go to Open File Location and then go to Maps. You want to put all of this in here. So once DM files are inside of Halo, uh, there are a few ways to access these uh, these maps. Is to right click DM shortcut, go to Properties. And then you want to go and en and enable uh, dev and console. So we have dev mode here. Go launch it. So in uh, in dev mode, uh, multiplayer will be disabled. And if if you press this uh, this um, top key here. It will um, pause the game and it will allow you to put in commands. So for example, map name underscore name and then and then the first map is A10. And it's now launching <laughs> but to uh, make it a bit easier to access in, in instead of doing dev mode there is a UI mod so you yeah, click download on this you save to desktop so then you want to open file location of the of the um, game files and you want to go to maps you want to open this zip this this um, zip folder and you want to drag ui.map into into maps folder copy and replace continue and now you have a campaign button what the hell you click on it you can create new game the pillar of autumn and if you want to try and play the other levels, you actually have to complete the levels, which is sort of fun, because that's how you play Halo. So that was method one of, in of installing Halo Combat Evolved on your PC. The um, benefit of custom edition is the is the um, customizability of it and and you have dev mode and stuff but if you 
if you just want to play the um, DM campaign without any hassle, then there is uh, something on the Internet Archive. This is this is the full release of the game, and when you download this, you will get you will get an ISO, which is actually cool. So first, you would open that up, and you would press, and and you would open um setup, but um I uh. So um here is a disc with um with um Halo Combat Evolved burned onto it. So now when I insert it into my PC here, I uh, have a disc drive in my computer, so it's kind of cool. So there are two options, express install or install. You will need a product key again, which I will do. It's playing some of the music. Anyway, we impress install. So, um, so I guess the um, difference with this installer is that it has sort of some um, OST. Some wave files, which which makes it exciting. <laughs> Don't install game game spy um, arcade because that does not work anymore. <laughs> anyway, we do install, and it's doing it. So we wait. So you will need to um, download a different patch called um, called Halo PC patch. There, there's a one called custom edition pack uh, patch but this but this is for the pc one for the for the um, game so now we have the um, zip file here where we extract to folder take <sighs> run And we're done. So now we will launch it. Finally. One sec now. Properties. And disable this. And now you see the um, end user license ag agreement, which is a good sign that it's working. Accept. And now you are in the world of Halo. And there is actually a boot animation. one because it's a different game to to um, custom edition but uh, um, but then um, those uh, those uh, sp sp splash screens can actually be changed like um, for like um, for example 
I find the um, DM gearbox uh, thing to be a bit out of place for Halo. So I go and quit. I go to the um, directory of where it is, and then here are the different things here. B I K. And obviously, uh, this is kind of out of place for Halo, in my opinion. So, you can just take it out, like that. And then when when you launch it, you won't have that thing there anymore. But, that also allows some customization that you might not think of. And this um, even works inside of Custom Edition, if, if you um, didn't know. But, so, for, uh, for a cool boot se se sequence, I will take out the bungee one here. Wait, what's bungee.mp4? Oh, <laughs> I, this seems to be from a previous ins installation, but I have a bungee.mp4. Uh, and this, this has the, I am, um, I am have the um, Xbox boot animation, and I am going to make this the first thing that pops up. But to um, do that, we um, have to, to um, convert it to to a file f f format to that it uh, might be a bit outdated, but and uh, isn't really used that often. So you want to use a program called, you want to use a uh, Bing and Smatter, and, and Smacker, which, <laughs> funny name, but this is how you, this can also convert uh, vi vi video files into other stuff. Go and check in this one. Did you know that you that if you do Control C, you um you um can copy the information of an of a message box into a notepad like this. But anyways, and now we want to go to bungee.mp4. Like um you um want the DM width and height to MBDs so that when you launch Halo, it doesn't like crash or anything. And then we go over to to Halo and we put this in here. So now when we launch Halo, we will have a very cool thing here. It will um, feel more like you're playing on an Xbox, <laughs> which is cool. Which is an important touch, in my opinion. And yes. And that is, and there it is. Halo Combat Evolved on PC. Yes, it is possible. And I, I and I have shown you. I hope that you can can and do this for yourself. And I'll see you in the next video.